Are you thinking about switching over to Premiere from Final Cut? Well, in this three-part series, I'm happy to partner with Adobe to help make it easier if you're thinking about doing so. What up, AFAM? Kitty here with the Toll of Visuals. In this first episode, I'm gonna tell you why I switched over, and I'm also gonna be giving you the best video references to make this painless. If you wanna jump around, check out the time codes in the description box below made it easy for you. When I first started editing, I was actually cutting and taping film in college, legit. And then when I finally moved on to the computer editing, my first program that I used was Avid. And then I moved on to Final Cut 7, which was my ultimate favorite at the time. When Final Cut 10 came out, I felt like I was just forced to switching over, kind of like when I had a force to switch from MySpace to Facebook. L. The reason why I didn't switch over to Premiere a while ago is because I already developed muscle memory with Final Cut and I just didn't want to slow down and take the time to learn a new software. You know how it is. Time is money, honey. So here are the reasons why I finally switched over to Premiere and it was definitely worth it. Reason number one, to collab with other editors. I got to the point in my career where a lot of projects were happening and I needed to distribute some of the editing work to other editors. What I found was that most of the editors were using Premiere. There was maybe like one person on Final Cut. So this was limiting me on the opportunity to work with really talented editors. Reason number two, handicapping myself on gigs. So back when I was looking for jobs, there was always a requirement for editing work to be proficient with Premiere. Even though there are good opportunities with great companies, I didn't have the confidence to even apply because I didn't know the software. And that's a damn shame. Reason number three is large project files. Now I know Final Cut 10 can be snappy with that background rendering and export really fast, but you're gonna pay for it with those large project files which in turn takes up more storage space and also makes it difficult if you collab via Dropbox. Bonus reason number four is Premiere's color tools. I fell in love with them because they're fun to use and there's also more features. In Final Cut 10, as we all know, that interface, I just don't like it. I don't like it one bit, not at all. I even use Color Finale and Magic Bullet Suites to make up for the lack that Final Cut gives you but I just found that Premiere's native tools are a lot better. Let's jump into the program so I can show you some things. To help you organize your files, the terminology is a little different, which confused me at first. So here's a quick translation for you. Chart. While I can make a video explaining the basic interface for those of you who want to get started, I found a really good video by Crisco Art who explains everything in 20 minutes. So I'll link that video down below. Be sure to check it out. For anyone new, I know for me, the interface can be a little bit intimidating, but don't be discouraged because you can personalize the workspaces and move windows around and then save your profile. You do you. Another important transitional tip is to change your key bindings to make it easier. If you're coming from Final Cut, they do have a Final Cut setting, but for me, I wanted to jump in Premiere 100%, so I made my own. The most important step for the whole editing process is to be able to cut and trim as fast as possible. Down below, I included the best video for keyboard shortcuts to make your job super easy. It's really snappy and it was the very first keyboard shortcut I changed. It saves you a good two or three clicks. If you wanna know my keyboard shortcuts, here they are. What is your favorite keyboard shortcut? Let us know in the comments below. Now, maybe you're concerned that the tools are gonna to be too different in Premiere, but I'm gonna let you know that they have very similar attributes. Just to name a few, you still have multi-cam editing, stabilization, and you could also add plugins. Thanks for hanging out with me. This is episode one of three. Don't forget to catch the other two. We're gonna talk about my struggles and how I resolve them, a little bit more about my workflow and my final thoughts. Find my IG because I post there on the daily. Happy editing. You do you, fam, and I'll see you when I see you. Mm, done. The hair in my eye, and I'm blinking. Hold on. Continuity. Ill. 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 Chico, don't be discouraged.